In this problem, I need to look at a polynomial function, this polynomial function here, but all I have to do is find the graph's end behavior. So let's review end behavior of polynomials. It depends on two things. The first is the degree, and the second is the leading coefficient. If the degree of the polynomial, remember that means the highest exponent on any of the x's in the polynomial is even, then the ends either both point up or both point down. If the leading coefficient is positive, they both point up. If the leading coefficient is negative, they both point down. If the degree is odd, they point in opposite directions. If the leading coefficient is positive, it looks like this. And if the leading coefficient is negative, it goes like this. So let's take a look at our polynomial here. So looking at this polynomial here, what is the largest exponent on any of the x's? Here it is right here. It's x to the sixth. Therefore, that means the degree of my polynomial is 6, which is an even number. So that means my end behavior is going to be in this column here. And what is the leading coefficient? That is what is the number in front, in front of the degree 6 term? Well, in front of that is a negative 1. So we know that the leading coefficient is going to equal negative 1, which is less than 0. It's a negative number. So this is when the leading coefficient is positive. This is when the leading coefficient is negative for degree, if the degree is even. So looking at this here, this is going to be my end behavior. They're both going to point down. So that's this is my answer, and now we just have to figure out which one of these it is. Well, if we look at our answers, falls left, falls right. Does this one fall to the left and fall to the right? Yes, so it looks like the answer is definitely A. But double check, B says fall left, rise is right. This graph doesn't rise at either end. No, no. And so does A work? Yes, so the answer is A.